guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Friday, May 21st, 2021, and I am coming on here with another update for wings. So this is our second one for May. Um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet, I like yarn, and I like to make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. Um, anyway, I live in the Chicago area with my daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, and we have a bunch of animals in this place that so we call it a zoo. So anyway, the wings organization that we are doing this charity event for all year round is actually a domestic violence organization based here in the Chicagoland area. <clears throat> if you would like to know more information, please go check out all the details in the description box down below. Um, there is a list of items that we are, um, that they have asked us to donate uh, per month. So uh, like for example, the month of May is diaper bags and there are a few additions to the list. So if you wanna go check out the updated list, it is down below in the description box, as well as I will update it on the Facebook in the Facebook group. Um, speaking of that, if you're not a member, come and join. You have to answer three questions and we would love to have you over there. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the update for the items of the month, just so you guys know, is going to be an addition for October. So someone had sent me an email and asked if they would take crocheted towels. So right now for, wa for um, October, we are asking for washcloths, dishcloths, kitchen scrubbies, um, the bath poofs and loofahs. And the my contact did say that she would take um, the crocheted, like the towels, kitchen towels that have like the crocheted topper on it. Not an entirely crocheted towel. So I'm gonna insert a picture here of what I found that she said she would accept in October. And I'll put that right here. Now, I do believe that Pam at Pamela's Adoring Crochet is doing like a year-round um, make-along with these particular crocheted towel toppers. So I'm going to link Pam's channel down below as well. And if you want to go check it out, you, you can check out. I think she has tutorials for all of these. So they will take those for October. Now, speaking of October and the Wings Washcloth Challenge, you guys might have seen that I kind of... Um, bullied a bunch of other YouTubers into helping me spread the word about washcloths for wings. I wasn't a bully. I asked nicely. And so many people said yes graciously. And I just want to kind of give an update. Um, if they are having a giveaway on their channel for the washcloths, please see them for details. Um, if they are not doing, um, like they don't want you to send them washcloths. I think the only person that is taking washcloths is Lynette from Charmed Grammy Crochet. Um, Pam was going to do it from Pamela's Adoring Crochet, but she realized what an undertaking it was going to be and said she wasn't going to do it. But I think there is some confusion. If you guys want to double check the list down below, October is the month that you can send in washcloths, dishcloths, kitchen scrubbies, shower poofs, and now these towels with the crocheted towel topper. Please, please, please do not send me any washcloths before October. I really appreciate it if you guys could stick to the items of the month. Okay, <clears throat> remember that we do have thank you gifts at the end of every month. So say, for example, we have 40 people that donate for the month of May. We have um, two sets of stitch markers going to two different people as thank yous. We have a goodie box with all of uh, Crystal at Bago Day's patterns on it um, in the, on her thumb drive. We have a pattern giveaway. We have a um, uh, project bag giveaway. Sorry, my thoughts escaped me there. Um, not a giveaway. It's their thank you gifts. Project bag, a big makeup bag. So we have a lot, a lot of thank you gifts um, that are coming from this channel um, with the help of other people to say thank you for you guys who are actually donating to Wings. So uh, if you need more information about that, you can go back to some of my previous Wings videos. Okay. For this video, I have 19 donations, and it was really exciting because a lot of them came directly from Amazon. So the item for this month was diaper bags. <laughs> and 
it was a challenge. I will admit, like I want to make something for every month and the diaper bag was a big challenge for me. I did make a messenger bag instead of a diaper bag. And even that was a challenge for me. So I totally understand a lot of people actually just um, went to Amazon, bought a diaper bag and had it sent directly to me in my PO box. So that was pretty cool. So I have a lot of those to show you today. I think I had two one package was from Amazon and one was from Walmart where there was no note in the box that said who it's for. So when I do mention that, um, if you want to email me, but you have to email me your tracking number so I know I'm getting the right person on my list for um, donations. Um, so anyway, we're going to get started with that in a second. But I do want to let you guys know that um, I don't know if you remember um, last year, what we did is we had people send in granny squares. Now we're not doing that this year, but last year we had people send in six inch and 12 inch granny squares. And I thought there wasn't going to be a whole lot. So I was like, I'm going to just put them together and make twin size blankets. Well, we got a little overwhelmed here <laughs> at the Rose Likes Crochet household. And what I wound up, wound up doing is um, requesting a blanket brigade where people offered to have me send them the squares. They were gonna put them together and then send them back and we would have twin, twin size blankets. Um, I still have one outstanding, but I did have one person say that she couldn't put the blanket squares together and would it be okay if she sent them back to me and I could put them together? And I said, of course. So um, she did send me the squares. You can kind of see it right there. And um, I, I put them together to make a twin size blanket, but I will tell you that whoever had these squares, I think had a lot of cats um, or the cats were on the squares or in this, I don't know what happened, but I sneezed for three days straight putting this blanket together. So um, <laughs> I did reluctantly put it on my bed to take a picture of it. I made it quick. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you real quick, but then I'm probably gonna pause and go wash my hands um, because I don't wanna start sneezing again. So let me show you. Um, this was sent to someone who just couldn't, couldn't put them together. So I put them together uh, for her or for us, for wings, right? And so let me see if I can show you. Like the reason I wanna show you guys is you guys worked really hard last year to send in these squares and you deserve to see your squares in a blanket. So um, I'm gonna just hold it up a little bit at a time and then I'll insert pictures of what it looks like on my bed. It's huge, you guys, it's a queen size. And you can see there's little heart ones in there. Um, these are all like kind of pinks, purples and reds. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to hold it up. So I'm gonna put the picture that I took, there's a couple pictures of this on my queen size bed and I'll insert those here. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? So we have one more outstanding blanket and I think I have a couple of spare squares and I think when it gets closer to winter, I'm gonna take those and make them into scarves. Okay, so are you guys ready? We have 19, which a lot, of, some of these are from the same people, but I don't remember which ones. Um, I'm gonna go through the Amazon and the Walmart ones first. So here is the first one. This is from Amazon. Okay guys, so this one is a living traveling share backpack. And that looks like that. I'm, I'm gonna leave these all in the plastics. And I have the little gift note from Amazon and it says a gift for you, four wings from Gloria S. from Florida. So Gloria, thank you so much for taking the time to go on Amazon and order a diaper bag for wings. I really appreciate it. That is so awesome of you. Um, okay, so next, here is another one from Amazon. Okay, you guys, here's this one. It's so cute. And it is, I don't know, it just says Orisant diaper bag, and it's just adorable. And this one says it is um, a gift for you. Hi, Rose, this is for Wings for May. The one I attempted to make myself just didn't turn out right. <laughs> thank you for all you do. Hugs from Judy Friedman in Virginia. So Judy, thank you so much for sending the diaper bag. This is so amazing. Thanks, you guys. Okay, next. All right, this next one also came from Amazon and it's in a really nice um, zippered bag here. I don't know if you guys can see the design. So I will just... 
I don't want to like get anything dirty. I do have a dog that lives here. So it's that design and it says it is an elephant. Here, let's see what the gift says. It says, enjoy your gift from Gina Ingram. And it says it is a nylon large lightweight tote bag shoulder bag. So, oh, and it's waterproof. That's awesome. So this one was from Gina. Gina, thank you so much for sending that through Amazon. It's actually really, really cute. Okay, next. All right, this next one also came from Amazon. And it is another one of these awesome backpacks. I'm just gonna hold it up and leave it in the package there, but you can see it's got the nice straps on it. And this one says, enjoy your gift from Natalie D'Amico. So Natalie, thank you so much for sending the backpack for wings. I appreciate that. Um, we have a few more from Amazon, so let's get to the next one. All right, so this next one also came in an Amazon bag, and there was no thank you note in there. So I did write down the tracking number. So if you sent these two bags, there's two of them. If you sent, oops, these two bags, and you can send me the tracking number, please let me know so I can put you on my donation list. Um, but I do appreciate whoever sent this. I really, really do. Um, these are just beautiful. I mean, these are great, you guys. I didn't have diaper bags like this when my daughter was little. So these are awesome. So if you sent these, send me your tracking number so that I can put you down on my list. All right, next. Okay, here's another one from Amazon. And it is another one of these great backpacks. Oh, you guys all have the same idea. This one did have a note and it says, enjoy your gift. Hi Rose, saw the last April Wings update and was like, what a great idea to have the diaper bag shipped directly to you from Amazon. Hoping these will be suitable and a decent size. And this is another one from Natalie D'Amico. So Natalie, we got the second one. So thank you so much. Okay, a few more from Amazon. All right, you guys, here's another Amazon bag. And here is the diaper bag and it's so cute. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. This one did have a note. It says, enjoy your gift from Karen Nelson. So Karen Nelson, thank you so much for sending this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's adorable. Okay, next. You guys, this one came in a box. <laughs> it is also um, a diaper bag. And I will just tell you, here's the gift card. It says, Rose, there was no way in the world I was going to even attempt a diaper bag. <laughs> Huge props to those who did. Have a great day from Deb Fremond. Oh my gosh. You guys are so funny. So check this out. I think, is this one or two? Let me check. This is one diaper bag. It's really heavy duty and it is gorgeous. I just love it. Deb, thank you so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. All right, next. All right, you guys, here's another one from Amazon. <laughs> Sorry about the boxes, guys. And let's see here. It says, a gift for you. This is for wings. It's a diaper bag with a foldable crib inside. Sorry, I don't like to crochet bags. <laughs> Ciao from Como, Italy. This is from Barbara Tr Petronio. Oh my gosh. Barbara is like one of my favorite commenters on my videos. Um, and she's from Italy and she sent a diaper bag through Amazon. Barbara, you are amazing. Okay, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, but it looks like just gray and it's got a portable crib on the inside of it. What? Shut the front door, seriously, how amazing is that? Wow, Barbara, thank you so much for donating the wings all the way from Italy. That's pretty incredible. Okay, next, here's another Amazon box, guys. Oops, and here is the diaper bag. And it is a backpack. It's kind of hard to see it. Maybe you can see it there. And it just says, a gift for you, a diaper bag for wings from Barbara Leinhard. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys should all know Barbara. She comments on everyone's videos. She just had surgery and she's recovering and she lives on a sailboat in Florida. I mean, seriously, could life be any better than that? So Barbara, thank you so, so much for sending the diaper bag. I love it. Thank you very much. You guys are all pretty amazing just for even clicking on your Amazon account and having something shipped for wings. So that's pretty cool. Okay, one more really big box. Here's the really big box, you guys. <laughs> and here's the diaper bag. It's so cute. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's got like the little pink polka dots on it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. 
And it's got an accessory pouch. Okay, and let's see who this is from. This one had a tag. It says, hi Rose, hope these items will help wings. Just couldn't get a crochet bag to look right. Thanks for all you do. Oh, this is another one from Karen Nelson. So it looks like Karen sent too. So this is the second one. Wow, Karen, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, I have the box from Walmart that doesn't have a name in it. Let me do that one next. All right, guys, so this is the big box from Walmart, and there was no note inside, no card or anything, um, and I do have the tracking number on that one. So if you sent, and I'm, I apologize, if you guys sent in me an email already, I get like a lot of emails about wings and other things, so I apologize. If you sent this box from Walmart, please send me an email again with the tracking number. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in my inbox, but I won't know where to find it. Okay, so this person sent this gorgeous diaper bag and this one too oh my gosh and not only were there two diaper bags in there but there were also these passy grips in there too so whoever sent those just send me an email again with your tracking number so i can put you on my my list for my thank you gifts i really appreciate it okay so that's it for like the big boxes with the store bought i think that's it so let me get to um the smaller boxes and the little bags so hang on a second are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, this next box comes from Miss Cheryl Damon, and she is from Michigan. So this is the box from Cheryl, and let me show you what she sent. All right, she sent a card, and it says, you are the very best. No, you guys are the very best. All right, and it says, oh, this is a long one. Hang on, guys, I need glasses for this. Okay, uh, hi, Rose, hope you are doing well. Enclosed is a diaper bag for wings. I used some Hirschner's worsted eight yarn from my stash. The pattern I started out with was Valerie's Market Tote from Ravelry, but I modified it and added a flap to turn it into a messenger type bag. I haven't been watching your channel very long, but I love it, especially when you show all people have sent in. It is so inspiring. I know you say not to thank you, but I know it is a lot of work for you and so great to do something nice in these difficult times. So thank you, Cheryl. Well, thank you guys, for Cheryl and everyone else who, who sends anything in. That's like totally awesome. Like we, we all got to stick together, right? Okay, so here is the messenger bag and it's so adorable. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I just love it. And there is the back and the handles, and I just think it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. You did a phenomenal job. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to turn this in along with all the other ones. So Cheryl, thank you so much for sending in this diaper bag. I know it was a lot of work. So thank you very much. Okay, next. All right, guys, this next box comes from Tammy Neal from Frederickstown, Ohio. Hi, Tammy. And it just says my name and it says uh, attention wings on it. And there was no note that I could find, but that's totally okay. Remember, you guys do not have to send a note. And she did this gorgeous diaper bag. Oh my gosh, seriously, it is awesome. So it's got the pockets on the front and it's got the pockets on the back. And if I remember correctly, I did, she didn't leave a note or anything, but I did the same pattern last year and it was um, something from Lion Brand. And I had a really hard time doing it because it was, it was complicated for me. <laughs> so I think this is the pattern that she used. I could be wrong, but it's gorgeous. Tammy, you did a phenomenal job on this bag. And there's even pockets on the side, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You are you are just appreciated more than you know. So thank you so much, Tammy. Okay, next. All right, so this next box is from Leilani Hamilton and she is from Texas. Hi, Leilani. There is no note in the bag. And remember, you guys, it's fine. You don't have to put a note in the bag. And she made three, three bags and two diaper wipes holders so here is the first bag it's like a messenger style bag it is so cool you guys it's like a granny square on the front that is so awesome so there's one and then here is another one it's like a um, open it doesn't have a flap on it but it's like a regular tote bag it's so cool i love the way the pattern worked up there here is another little tote bag i just love this Wow, you did a really, really good job, Leilani. I love these. And then here are these, it looks like, like you can put a diaper and a little pack of wipes in there. 
and it's like um, I'm pretty sure, well, I've seen one of these from Bag O' Day Crochet. Um, and if I can find the pattern or the tutorial, I'll link it down below. But you put your diapers in one side and your wipes in another, and then it just folds up and you stick it in your bag. And she put a button on it too. So there's two of them. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. Leilani, thank you so, so much for taking the time to make these. That's incredible. Thank you. Okay, next. Okay, believe it or not, guys, in this little tiny itty bitty envelope, wait till you see what was in there. This is from Betsy Allen and she's from Massachusetts. Hi, Betsy. No note in the bag and that's fine, but she had this huge thing stuffed in that little bag. That's awesome. Okay, so you guys, check this big humongous bag out. It is so cool. She's got owls on the flap. It's got the two handles, like super heavy duty handles, you guys. This is like really, really nice and heavy and sturdy. Oh my gosh, Betsy, it's awesome. It's so cool. It looks like half double crochets or single. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. Betsy, thank you so much for sending this gorgeous bag. I just love it. It's so nice. Wowza. Okay, next. All right, you guys, so this next envelope was also stuffed and it came from someplace called Shop Simple Joy. And on the inside, there's just a little post-it note and it says from Michelle Chapone. Oh my gosh. So Michelle, your life's so cool. You're supporting all these small businesses. So there were two, looks like diaper bags in here. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna leave them in the plastic, but here's one. And here is the second one. So two diaper bags from Michelle Chapone and she's supporting other businesses doing this. So thank you so much, Michelle. I do appreciate it. Okay, next. This next bag comes from Becky Borton from Pennsylvania. And she sent me um, a little bag and a note. And let's see what the note says. It's got, um, oh, okay. There's a big letter in here and there's like a, a little sample of the yarn. Okay, it says, uh, Rose enclosed as a contribution for June. I made this with a free pattern called Butterfly Stitch Prayer Shawl, designed by NJ Sharon and modified by Debbie Adams, which I found on Ravelry. I used Cascade Yarns Pima Silk, 85% Pima Cotton, 15% Silk in the colorway Plum. I do not think this is available anymore. I used a 5.5 millimeter hook, included a little bit of yarn for repairs if ever necessary. And she sent washing instructions. So we're gonna include this with the shawl and she put in the little sample of yarn. So I'm gonna leave that with the shawl. And remember you guys, shawls are for June. So um, if you have already started working on them, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that, you guys. That's so gorgeous. Wow, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Wow, I, I need to try that pattern. You guys, you see the butterflies, right? It's beautiful. Wow, Becky, thank you so much for taking the time to make that shawl. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna leave all that information in there with the in the bag with that. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? All right, you guys, this little bag came from Amazon and it is, oh my gosh, whatever it is, it's adorable. Let me see here if I can see what it is. It says, a gift for you, enjoy your gift from Gina Ingram. Oh, Gina, here's the second one or third one. I don't know, you've sent so much. It says, nylon large lightweight tote bag, sh tote bag shoulder bag, waterproof. Oh, it's another waterproof one. So I'll just show you guys the pattern on that. I don't want to take it out of the bag. So Gina, thank you so much for sending another one of these bags. They're so cool. Okay, next. All right, you guys, this next bag is from Nama Stitches and she is from North Carolina. And Nama sent a note. This is so cool. It says a note from Nama Stitches. It says, hi Rose, I love your channel and all your creativeness you share. I am enclosing a diaper bag for wings. The pattern is called Flower Bed Diaper Bag by Mary Maxim. I left off the flowers to keep it neutral. Say hi to Carrots for me and thanks again for all you do from Debbie. Hi Debbie. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <gasps> wow, this is gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's got a little, her, her little tag on there. And you can see the handles and it's gorgeous. 
holy mackerel. So thank you so, so much, Debbie, for sending this. I just love it. I just, I love it. If you guys could see the stitches on here, here, let me hold it up closer. They're like sticking out, but they're not puff stitches. So pretty. I just love it. Thank you so much, Debbie. Okay, next. Okay, guys, so this bag comes from uh, Billy Davidson, and Billy is from Maryland, and Billy sent me a note, and then, <laughs> you guys see this? Making the moose out of life <laughs> instead of the most. Rose, I want to start by saying thank you for all your hard work for wings. Life got in my way, and there are they. these are later than I would have like them to get to you. Keep up the good work from Billy Joe. Okay, so Billy sent me an entire bag full of hair scrunchies. It's no worries. I will still deliver this to Wings and I'm sure they will find someone that will want to put these in their hair. So Billy, thank you so, so much for send, for making them and for sending them. I appreciate it. Okay, I think we have one more, guys. All right, you guys. In this little tiny itty bitty envelope, this one comes from Sean Fuller, and she's from Michigan. Hi, Sean. And she's, I don't know how she stuffed this bag in there, but she did. No note, which is fine. Um, this is an amazing, amazing bag. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is heavy duty. Seriously heavy duty. She's got um, magnetic snaps on the side so that it can expand or you can make it smaller. So those are on both sides and the handles come off of the sides of the bag. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the bottom of it. It's got like something in there. Is there like a, whatchamacallit, what's that plastic canvas? Is that what's in there? <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, Sean. Thank you so, so much for sending in this gorgeous diaper bag. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, you guys, that's it. Hopefully this won't be like a mega long uh, video. <laughs> so thank you so much to everyone who sent in a diaper bag, whether you crocheted it or you spent your money and went to Amazon and, and purchased it. It's all gonna go to a really good cause. Um, what I want you guys to do, um, Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer, she just put out a washcloth tutorial um, to help you guys along with making a washcloth for wings for October. Remember, don't send them until October. And she had some really, really amazing things to say about domestic violence. Um, so if you're looking for a good washcloth tutorial and you wanna hear someone talking to you um, from their heart, I would recommend that you go see Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitch's latest um, washcloth tutorial. Um, so I really do appreciate you guys. Everyone at Wings appreciates you guys more than you know. Um, if you've been a victim of domestic violence, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so that's it, you guys. I will see you guys in a couple days for another video and we will talk soon. Bye.